Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer with St. Thomas of Becket. My name is Andrew and I will be the leader this morning. With me today is Althea and she will be doing the people's part. Please follow along with her as you are able. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that you would hearken to his voice. A reading from the book of Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings, with two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongues. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. I invite you to join in affirming our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. I suffered on, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy for people from on high and for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishops and for all clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Charles, our King, 
for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city of Mississauga, for every city and community, and for those who live in them in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For good weather and for abundant harvests, for all to share, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, water, or air, for the sick and the suffering, for prisoners and captives, for their safety, health, and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, strife, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the absolution and remission of our sins and offenses, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remembering all the saints, we commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, Father, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining us today. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.